Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello. The Ankle's a little mean. <laughs> So I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and thank you so, so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become the For today's video, we're getting finally all caught up with Flobby. Uh, we're going to take a look at Can't Sleep, Too Hungry. <laughs> it's a bit of a shorter one. So, you know, we'll probably breeze through it a little bit quickly. But the second one, ooh. She is real pissed off. Old foodie is back, you know, no more modest Miriam. Back to the raging and all that. And I have a feeling she's taking this out of context a bit, but we are not going to focus on this just yet. We are starting down here. So yeah, let's just dive right on in guys, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, hey foodie. Yikes. So I'm using my microphone so I can talk low because um, my husband Salah is sleeping. At the other woman's house? And as you can see, I am not, even though I have my sleep mask, I got this sleep mask for free from, um, I think it was when I flew Emirates. Wow. And you kept it. Okay. <laughs> Um, they give you like a little kit and I just, when I can't sleep, um, and I end up falling asleep during the day, I wear this because. I tried having a sleep mask and it scared the living F out of me. Cause like, if I wake up, I want to wake right up. If I have something over my face, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, it feels like a danger. <laughs> makes me feel like it's nighttime. Anyway, I have like... Wow. It's almost that, like that's the point of those. Hunger, insomnia. I'm gonna fold laundry while I talk to you guys. Um, and have... I've never met someone that couldn't sleep because they were too hungry. That's yikes. Water. I thought I would video journal what I'm going through right now and um she also hasn't been uploading much since these two videos so I have a feeling Miss Thing has been off track a bit I have hunger insomnia crazy concept and basically what I would consider that to be is being so hungry, doing this the wrong way, being so hungry that you can't sleep, but it's pretty- Girl, it was pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why we're having to do this stupid thing. Much head hunger at this point, because well, as long as you're, like, actually pushing through it, girl. You know, I met my um, calorie goal. So I actually... Limit, you mean. ...did decide to stick to calorie counting, but I decided to um, change the settings in my fitness pal to a less strict setting. Like, instead of putting two pounds a week, I put, like, one and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah, big difference. And, um, it upped my calories a bit. So. So, is that why you did that? So you could have more to eat? That is... That has helped. Um... So I ate, like, every single calorie I was allowed. <laughs> I believe it. I still have, like, I think, I, I had, like, 100 left or something like that. So make yourself some popcorn or something, gal. And I already planned what I'm going to eat later today. 
So wait, you already maxed out your calories for the day, or I'm confused. Or is it the day before? What? What? All of my meals and snacks. <sighs> I feel like we should also be trying to move away from just being so food obsessed all the time. And that includes planning everything out. I mean, if it helps with, like, losing the weight, sure. But I don't know, dude. I just feel like it's so unhealthy to be constantly thinking about the food you're going to eat like this. Um. And I'm going to need a grocery top up for some things. Cheese, probably. So I'm going to be ordering that later. Which I'll show you guys what I have. Um. I guess the main feeling I'm feeling is, besides the hunger, is, I feel like... Isn't she eating like every two to three hours also? So like, how is it she's experiencing this bad of hunger? Happy that I told myself no. Okay. Okay. It's like, I guess the main reason I couldn't sleep, um, the hunger, but like the nagging, like all the food noise in my head, like, so, and then there was also like the impulse to, um, binge eat pretty badly during the night. And, um, I, I just don't understand how she isn't asleep well she doesn't do anything that's a main issue like she doesn't get out and do stuff so she doesn't really have a reason to be tired i was so tempted so many times i would get up sit up take my CPAP off brother literally getting up in the middle of the night because she wanted to go and binge that's crazy that's crazy to me oh my god foodie and you don't see I want to refrain from being, like, super, super judgmental of this. But at the same time, I'm like, how has this not pushed you towards realizing you need serious professional help with this? And I would look at Salah sleeping. And then I would see myself in the mirror. Good Lord. And think of how good I was doing and how many people I would let down, including myself. Sorry if you can hear Goose huffing and puffing. His head is right next to the laptop staring at me like, Dad, please, please give me lovings. Hi, my baby. Hi. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, Foodie actually just uploaded another Rage video. We'll get to this one tomorrow, guys. Called The Sad Lies for Attention from a Dear Muslim Sister. Former Beezer Aisha. Okay, we'll figure out what that is later. <laughs> and so, I decided, no. You're not going to go make, I was going to make, like, ramen noodles. <laughs> Girl, of course you are. Um, bunch of packs of those. A bunch? Oh my god. Oh my god. I truly don't know if she's ever going to get better. I mean, granted, she's going to have to fight a lot of these urges in the beginning. If this is what she's been used to. Christ, girl. But you've never, in the past few months, you have never really portrayed to us that it was this Bad. But I didn't. <laughs> and that is a very big deal for me. For you, yeah. <laughs> um, I look like an idiot. Just figured that out. I mean, it didn't really make it any better, but... <laughs> I don't even know why I have that on, but I didn't even sleep in this. So you got all dressed up and done up 
just to be dumb? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. The sun makes me feel gross when I haven't slept. So, um... So, wait, you didn't sleep all night? Jesus, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with my calorie deficit because I do use a calculator, which I'll show you here. Um, I guess on average I was eating just over 3,000 calories a day to maintain my weight. Um, mm. And to lose even 2,200 calories is still a deficit, a pretty big deficit for me at first. So... <clears throat> excuse me um, I know it might seem like a lot for some most people because most people tend to think that you know you have to eat like Dr. Now says like 1200 calories well I mean girl they do <laughs> they do, and you would also, if you had to lose a large amount of weight really fast, you're literally trying to lose one and a half pounds a week? Oh, okay. But, um, I guess I'll just No, thanks. Yeah, go figure. We're not that eager. You know, it would also probably help you a little bit more if you were doing all this stuff standing. So, washed my favorite hijab. I watched this too, I just put it on. Yeah, I bet. Um, before doing this video, because I was just in my PJs, my nightgown. Um, so... All this to say, I just wanted to come on here and, you know, kind of explain, journal how I'm feeling. Um, <laughs> All this, meanwhile, Amber's in Wisconsin getting the life fed out of her. I feel happy with myself, proud of myself. You seem real down, though, dude. <laughs> but I'm also, like, afraid because of how close I came to giving in. And these feelings happen pretty much every night. That's really sad, dude. You should go talk to, like, professionals about it. It's like a battle every night. Go talk to someone. And it's very exhausting. And, I mean, I am, I, I feel like I am eating enough. It's just, I don't think it'll ever be enough. <laughs> you know, I just. Well, it'll eventually change, girl, but you really gotta, you know, just put the time into it. have to ignore it. So, um, anyway. It won't always be this bad, I promise. So I was able to stave off a binge urge for now. For now. Mmm, ominous. And I'm actually just really determined to stick to this lifestyle. Okay. Well, don't let all this raging that's about to come up push you off. Um... Other than these moments, I'm not finding it too bad as other times where it just felt more restrictive, you know, when I would do like certain diets and things like that, or try to over restrict or under eat. Okay, okay, I hear that. And um, I don't, I just don't think that it's sustainable for me to do that, so... Hopefully, I can keep going with this and... 
She's always got to make sure she's got that plaque right there, huh? Yeah, we'll see, I guess. But later today, probably after I wake up, um, I do want to try making a crustless chicken pot pie and some mashed potatoes. Crustless? Okay. And... I feel like it's all the gravy in it that's probably the worst part, but all right. Maybe, you know, cook for you guys. I know a lot of you like my cooking videos and stuff, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah, so... Anyways, thanks for listening. I... Just... Thought I'll do something productive while I'm like I'm actually starting to feel a bit tired now that I got that out of my system and um, well, girl, you going and sleeping your whole day away and missing those scheduled meals is not going to be good either. Yeah. So, anyway, um, I guess I will also resume live streams. Oh, yeah, she did, Soon. unfortunately. Um, maybe later tonight, so we'll see about that. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Depends. My Timu order should be coming today. And Damn, she'd be buying like a, a crazy off them. Super excited because, I'll, you know, we'll get to start using the GoPro. But also, new pillows. You know when your pillows just like start to get flat? Time for new ones, so. Never happened to me, but okay. Um, I'm very excited for that, yes. I'm a huge pillow person, like, I love pillows. I'm sure you do, girl. Pillow Mountain. Anyways, um, thanks for listening, guys, and I hope you're doing well yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Alrighty. She definitely can't lay flat, right? Like, definitely not. All right, let's go on to this rage. Wait, touches. Hold on. It's Yaba and Sam defend a PDF file and Nad turd. Down in Ottawa, she said she came there for cooking. No. See, now May is also a liar. Mm -hmm. E.G., if that's what May is saying the whole thing was about, was to come there for his cooking. She uh, sorry. So what it says is... <laughs> This audio is of Yabba's wife, Sam Teffler, okay, making fun of an alleged essay victim and defending Nad Turd's side of the story, while Yabba just accused me of the same in her recent live stream. Oops. Full clip played at. Okay. He's a fucking liar. Okay, well, DG, you, you remember this, but, like, was it proven? How was it proven? Do you recall? Okay, so if you look just at these messages in the in the video that um although foodie, I don't think like you defended him as well. So you defended a alleged PDF file too or that could be someone else. Hold on, never mind. Um but she defended Nad Turd all the freaking time when they were dating. So, not sure what that's about. You also did defend someone that, you know, was accused of that. So, I don't know. Plus, she's been pretty victim blamey in the past, too. Dee Dee put out, it seems very simple an explanation that May is a nutter. She's also old. Okay. You know what's fucking wild? To know what kind of piece of shit that Natter is, right? And then to go to the partner of Natter to get the truth. <laughs> Does that make any goddamn sense at all? No, it doesn't. They're like 60 something years in her 60s, right? With Natter? Uh, she looks like a Natter. Like, there's a short video, like just a two second video, I guess, from the airport selfie style that May took and sent to Natter. You can tell just from the, that little short little video clip of her in the airport that she's old AF and she's a Natter. Jeez. This does seem a little rude, but, I mean, who knows? I mean, y'all are focusing on Natter, so, like... And trust and believe, Foodie said much worse things about women that went after the men she was interested in, all right? So...
Okay, so people that look like they're old as fuck in another Jesus cannot possibly be assaulted. Okay, because what the fuck does that? No, <laughs> I, I cannot. I cannot with this bitch. All right. Hello. All right. So a lot of I love that that was completely just taken out of context. You are not going to know what I'm talking about in this video. I'm not going to highlight this person. So I'm not going to. Ex if you don't know the drama, you don't know. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I have to keep pausing because like Goo is just in a very rambunctious, playful mood today. <laughs> Basically, just leave it at that. Um, if you don't like drama and you're just like my weight loss content, or my other videos that are happy, just skip this one because I have a response to somebody who... Why do you pay attention this much, dude? Like, you really try to make it seem like it doesn't get to you and whatnot or that you don't pay attention? You literally are on their every word. I'm sorry, but I can't hold it in because... The audacity, okay, is just too strong in this one that I have to reply. So. How dare you. All right. I love her sitting there looking so smug. And it, if you're watching Spare Me This, you shouldn't give her attention BS because, you know what? Yeah, whatever. I'll you wouldn't even hear it if you didn't. I'll take the hit on that one. I'll take the L on that one. But. 40-year-old woman. I'll take the L. Okay. Scaba doo-doo and greasy scamantha you need to take the l on this one okay can you please shut up <laughs> you have the nerve the audacity you greasy hypocrites you have the nerve to compare what happened with cow bella cow bella oh lord to your baby daddy, Jesse, SAing a child. His own. What the fuck? Why are we talking about this? Stepdaughter. You have the nerve. Here's the difference because I know you're a little. You're a little slow. That's fine. Uh. One act was two consensual adults in a fantasy situation, okay? What the fuck are you talking about? People have different fetishes and fantasies. Oh, you're talking about him wanting to shit on her and rain and petals eavesdrop women? Yeah, okay. Sure, girl, let's justify this. What differentiates a fantasy from reality is the act of it. Okay, well, the act that he did commit was fantasizing about this while with you and saying that he wanted to get away from you wanted to leave you that you were nothing to him so shut up just because somebody wants to act out a fantasy in a sexual situation with another consenting adult does not make them a grapist what makes somebody no but he said that he wanted to be a grapist is a non-consensual activity. Okay? All right. I hope you get that. I hope you and your entire... I love how she's getting so bent out of shape trying to justify something that she herself has gone and shit on before. Not like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, girl, you're not making any sense when you're talking about this. And you're getting all bent out of shape once again... To justify the actions of a good-for-nothing man in your life. Way to go. Dumb-ass audience understand that con. Yikes. Except. All right? But your baby daddy. Oh. <laughs> Modest Miriam. The person that you had three children with. Yes, three children. And don't give me this, once I found out, blah, blah, blah. No, because once you found out, according to the timelines of things, and don't make me bring up those receipts. I don't know why, foodie, why are we talking about this? And why are you using it as like a gotcha, okay? If what she's saying is true, which I, I don't know if it is or not, but something tells me it might not be how she's describing it. <clears throat> Why would this be a gotcha moment when a child got hurt? 
Huh? Seems weird. Because they're all over the internet on different channels. DC Returns, Hecate's Daughter. There's many that have them. Yo Mama. Hecate's? Okay. All right? And they're easy to find, I'm sure. Okay? Because you and Scam have said a lot of nasty things on Twitter. What are you even doing? You're adults and you have children. You're supposed to be an example. And the fact that I can't have kids doesn't have anything to do with you being a crappy parent trying to teach your kids morals in life and how to survive in life. That doesn't mean that what they're saying online about your trash self is what they're teaching their kids, girl. You do understand people can have separation between work and their personal life, right? Meanwhile, all you do is hate on the same fat women every day, being super obese yourself. Nice example you're, you're creating for your children. What if your children are overweight? You're going to fat shame them? Yet you're probably going to go, yeah, I want to fat shame them because I want them to be healthy. Yeah, well, healthy, okay, in body, but what about up here? You're going to give them a complex and psychological trauma just because you, you, you have a problem with... Dude, you seem really personally triggered by this. Like... You seem really freaking triggered by this. Something tells me Foodie might have been, you know, fat shamed by loved ones in the past. Which, yeah, it sucks. It might have worked, though. <laughs> People being fat? You have issues, man. You need, you need this support group, but you need it for yourself. Your baby daddy is a real-life rapist. That's the difference. You Gross. I don't know why that's a gotcha. Always compare what happened with Cowbella and... So, once again, you making fun of other fat women when you're sitting pretty at 350 plus. Okay. Between that and your baby daddy, there's no comparison. You're a hypocrite. There's no comparison whatsoever. None. Reality, fantasy. Reality, fantasy. Reality, fantasy. All right, you're not okay. Your fantasy is you have a husband that loves you, so <laughs> I'm gonna win this one after you knew. I'm not defending the others in this, but like, Foodie's real rich to come on any type of high horse thinking, like, oh, I gotcha about it. Scamantha, your wife went on Twitter and asked people to stop talking crap about Jesse because he was a war veteran. Your exploitation knows no ends. He served the country so he can... Mm, little girls, nice train of thought, fatty. I'll ask my former veteran buddies, let them know what he did and post their responses. What? This is a whole lot of what the F. Oh, oh, I guess that makes, you know, essaying your own stepdaughter makes it more valid. Jesse passed in 2023, so Sam defended a pedo. You know? What? And for those people saying, stop bringing up, it's a child, she's a victim. Well, yes. But it's okay for whenever somebody committed um, unalive themselves in the community because they were being bullied and they had mental health issues that didn't help. Um also don't know about this i'm really out of it with the foodie verse of reactors i guess but like to be fair why would i pay attention to that i i don't know it's okay to question you know the gofundme the father put up it's okay to um talk about it it's okay to exploit that situation right it's okay to exploit the father of five kids left alone by uh the mother unaliving herself that's okay and to so wait, are you saying that them posting the GoFundMe and everything was them exploiting it? Foodie. That's them using their platforms for something to help people. Are you that fucking daft? The hell? Call the funeral home to make sure that she passed away. You guys did that. Oh, that's aft. That's aft. I've never done any nasty crap like that. Never. Because you're too lazy, dude. To be fair, you're too lazy. <laughs> I don't do any of the nasty crap you guys do, actually. The thing I mean, listen, if she's talking about, like, people that go IRL, yeah. You, you know, if you've been around here, you know. I don't believe in that. We can have just as much fun over here without having to go IRL on anyone. Even these horrible people. You know, it's just... 
why stoop to their level of things? That you have done is disgusting. Disgusting. It's okay to talk about Karate Joe's, you know, situation. There was a victim there. That's okay, though, right? I'm not naming anyone by name. I'm t- well, didn't you defend? Is that, isn't that the person that you defended? I don't know. <laughs> talking about a situation that was put out publicly, and fair game, I'm sorry. Furthermore, the- You're using, you though, directly are using a child as the victim to have some kind of gotcha over this. And I wouldn't necessarily have an issue with you putting this out there if you weren't in this riled up, like, ooh, gotcha attitude, dude. It's how you're saying it that's really actually quite disgusting to me. The obituary. The obituary. Jesse's obituary. Have you guys seen that? Um... You should. I don't know if I'm going to share the link to it because I do have Oh, girl, I'm sure you are. But I've read it. So give us the rundown then. Like, my God, just baiting something and being like, yeah, yeah, this proves everything, but I'm not going to say. It sounds like something Scamantha would write. Um, I'm sure being that apparently Jesse didn't have a lot of family who cared about him. even Rude. His own mother. I'm sure that you guys had something. Okay, where where the hell is your mom, dude? Shut the fuck up. To do with the obituary, right? I'm- like, she's talking ill of someone that's passed. Ugh. And I don't know if what she's saying is true or not. That's why I'm on the fence, you guys. Don't, like, if what she's saying is true, if those allegations are true, then my remorse is gone. But I don't know, you know? So I'm not just going to, like hunker down and listen to everything she's freaking spilling to me. Sure. I don't remember what, how, what you, what you streamed when you found out about the baby daddy passing away. I don't think that. The baby daddy. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember if you were, you know, sad and down and, and what you talked about, but um, I don't remember you coming. Oh, so you are watching these people then girl oh christ catching every live stream my god out and condemning him for being a um pdf file i don't remember you come ever coming out and saying that ever and and, you know condemning him for that um i does she does she really think that if she says pdf file super fast that YouTube won't pick it up as the same exact word. Like, let's be so for real. Don't. Uh, the the obituary was so glowing that I, I don't even think Nobel Peace Prize winners will get an obituary. Oh my god, bitch. Maybe just the funeral home did it. Like, ugh. Like Jesse had. Usually an obituary is, you know, paragraph or two. This was like a page or two. This was glowing in detail his life, how he was with his kids, Like, I'm sorry, but... You also didn't personally know him. So, like, who are you to even say how he was with these other individuals, girl? Like, I don't know. I'm not buying what she's stepping in. Or smelling. I don't know. (laughs) She's making my brain not work, you guys. And I really don't want to throw accusations. Well, you kind of are. Because I don't know. I'm not like you and your pathetic community. Wait. What? I'm so confused. Does this person have like an actual record or not? ...who have no content, so you have to make up crap that you, you're not, you don't know anything about. Okay, well, it's better than just stuffing our faces for 15 freaking dollars. But, without any proof, I have a feeling this wasn't his first rodeo. The guy was always a drug addict, high on drugs, meth, whatever. That's, you're literally just making huge assumptions, but okay. And he was around all of your kids. Again, I have no idea about the validity of the things that she is saying. I'm sure some of you guys know about it and will probably let me know. I'm sorry, you know, that I'm not all that caught up on the reaction channel drama of it all, but, like, why would I be? Um... I think reaction channels having drama with each other is stupid. 
<laughs> but, I mean, who knows? Who knows? It seems really messy in the foodie booty side of Girl World, right? That's all I have to say. And I really hope I'm wrong. So for you... I can't believe you would even... So you're assuming and... Alleging and, you know, accusing him of essaying her own children. That's disgusting, foodie. That's freaking disgusting. Okay? And you're alluding to him doing it to a bunch of other kids. That's disgusting. Well, have to have the nerve to compare a fantasy situation with two consenting adults versus a situation with a child and your baby daddy? I mean, yeah, obviously they're not comparable, but I think you're real grimy for, like, even making this video, dude. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Disgusting. I have no words. Girl, it's disgusting what you're doing, too, okay? Two wrongs do not make a right. I have no words for the depravity and the disgustingness of how low this community goes. It's disgusting. I mean, if you still watch these low-life people knowing what they condone. Well, it doesn't seem like they're condoning anything. And naming your dog after the PDF file. Now, I don't know when you got that dog, if it was after Jesse died, because if it was after Jesse died, you knew what happened and you still named your dog after it. You're disgusting. Like, you're so strange. Like, I don't know. You miss, like, you want to protect your kids. You want to protect your kids. They're okay, but foodie, like, you also don't know how those kids were around him. Once again, I'm not making, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to push off that accusation, but children who that is happening to them, they are not loving and this and that with that individual, okay? Like, there is very clearly a strain in the relationship. And I just... Oh, no, dude. It's, it's making me feel icky that she is even alluding to this gonna find out and they're gonna find out in a nasty way if you don't explain to them what their dad was they're gonna find out on the internet they're gonna see your hate channel full of making fun of fat women like i'm sorry you can say what you want about smee my mom would never in a million years have a hate channel like she has a life like ugh. side eye girl <laughs> She might have been a young teen pregnancy. How old were you? So what if she was 17 having a child? She still did her best to raise me properly. Don't And look at how she did. Even come for me and say, I've heard you bash my mom about my eating disorder. She's not responsible for that. And what about your mom then? What about your parents? This is so disgusting, dude. This is so disgusting. I'm not condoning whatever Yaba, whatever all these people are saying. But, like, this is disgusting behavior as well, foodie. Are you not obese? How did you get obese? Huh? From sitting there talking crap, eating... Bur it probably wasn't from staying up all night, crying because she can't eat. Burgers, right? So, and Taco Bell, and whatever else you guys gorge on. The hypocrisy, like, how do people... You can tell she's really worked up by this. Look at her. She's, like, sweating. She's getting all red. Maybe the slimming filters came off for this one. She's puffing. Not understand how hypocr hypocritical it is. All right, because they're all dumb like you. Right. Okay, I get it. It's just as hypocritical for you to come on and bitch about it, dude. Like, I don't care if it's in rebuttal to it. It's still just as hypocritical. Come on. You have to be dumb. There's no other explanation. Um, well, that makes the two of you then, I guess. There's just none. It's just stupidity at this point. Another. I agree. That's what I'm watching right now. And we have 13 more freaking minutes of. You guys, this is going to be such a long one. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Never would I ever, ever want to commit this amount of time to Foodie Booty. Point is 
you like to deflect. And one of the main things you and FF Ghoul like to deflect on is bringing up Natterd. Even though it's been, what, like three years since I've seen his jacked up mouth anywhere near me? <clears throat> oh, girl. Oh, girl. You take it back in a second. And you have the nerve to bring up old past things. But since... Well, it sounds like you're doing the same thing. You brought it up with the May situation, making me look like a um, essay offender. Number one. Num Defender. Well, you have defended people that have done those things in the past, have you not? Mainly Natter. I don't know about the other boyfriends, but I know about Natter. You defended quite him quite a bit. Hmm? For one, at the time that that happened, the whole thing, I had no idea about it. Didn't you tell Dee Dee that she was jealous that you were the one getting smacked around by him? Like, please. Till later, until after it happened. Two, Natter is a manipulative narcissist. He well, so are you. lied to me about the situation, and I believed him because I had no reason at the time not to. Be okay, just everyone telling you. Because our relationship was still new, and I had no experience with somebody like this coming out of a pretty wholesome relationship. You wouldn't know the amount of... Well, you were coming on bitching like every day. Women who tried to reach out to Natterd um, at that point. So to me, she was just another fan, another woman who really wanted to jump his bones. Ew. But that's how it was. To me, why fly all this way to Canada, get a hotel room, just to eat some of his cooking? So for me, things were not adding up. Adding up, I thought her motive. Sorry, it was you know. I thought that there was something else going on until I learned the proper timeline of what happened, and then I saw that. Oh, this is so convoluted. He could have done it. The problem is, and so you still defended. You still defended him. You, you still did. I like to give the victim the benefit of the doubt. Mm. So, as of now, I believe May. As of now, but that could change. That something happened, but we don't know 100%. Okay, so why, listen, listen, I find it very telling that she is so quick to jump the gun and make these assumptions and direct accusations about a dead man with someone's children, but she will not definitively say, yes, this happened. She will not definitively condemn Natter in that manner. I find that very frickin' telling, and she doesn't fully believe the victim either. That's the difference. We still don't know 100%. It's still in the court. Think okay, and you still don't know all of these accusations you threw out in the first half of this video, but you said it pretty definitively, girl, that that stuff happened, and that's horrible. It's are still happening. We haven't seen any of the evidence. We haven't seen any of the video footage, if there's any. Apparently, there's some hotel video footage. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I think we know what that hotel video footage is. We don't know. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not defending that turd. It sounds like you are, though, dude. You are. You're giving him the benefit of, we don't know. It hasn't been confirmed. But you come on screaming, he's an abuser. He does this. He does this. But then when it comes down to actually definitively saying what he is, you're... Oh, but we don't know, you guys. We don't know. Shut up. Shut up. To this day, you are still on this man's crotch? Shut up, dude. Or discrediting May's story. You are. You kind of are. By doing the whole, oh, I don't know. We don't know. You kind of are. I'm just saying that we don't know all the details because none of us were there. 
and we don't know what's being discussed in the court case. I just find it so ironic that she gives this amount of grace to Natter, a man that abused her, allegedly, but she will not give that grace to anyone else. That's all I'm saying. I just like to keep an open mind with everything, but knowing what... Or more so just people that are directly related. Once again, she only cares that that story with Yaba and that guy might have happened because she can use it as a gotcha moment, and that's disgusting because, once again, if it did really happen... There is a child on the other end of this, Chantal, that is a victim. And their life is going to be forever screwed because of this. And you want to use it as a gotcha moment. Okay. Kind of person Natured is now versus when it happened. I Oh, please. Once a freaking grapist, always a grapist. What are you saying? Totally. A hundred percent believe that he is capable of doing something so horrible because he's done similar things to me. But you won't go and make a like actual stance on it? You won't give your, um, I don't know, testimony to it? Okay. Okay. Okay, girl. And he's been very abusive to me. And Again, but you won't testify. Didi, and we all know how horrible of a person he is. Yeah, we also know how horrible you are, so one in the same. Now, this clip I'm about to show you, this is a screen recording from Hakate's daughter, uh, her stream, her latest stream, and this is the full clips of Samantha Teffler, Yaba, or the YouTube Underground's wife, dearly beloved wife, doing the exact same thing that Yaba is condemning me for. All right, so here we go. So, you know. Okay, so what I'm sharing right now, these are all the, the, the clips that Dame Amber procured, thank you very much, that when uh, Sam was talking about this whole situation with uh, Salah, was it with Salah? No, with May and Natter, sorry. Okay, and thank you very much, Moonchild. Moonchild says mental health crisis hotline. Text BRAVE to the crisis text line at 741741. Please keep yourself safe. Thank you very much, Moonchild. Let's get into this crazy bitch right here, okay? You couldn't clip this out, girl? Put a one if you guys can hear this. Foodie, really? We couldn't clip this? This is the part where I was like, oh. Okay, did you guys hear that? She's an amazing mod, for real. Did you guys hear that shit? That annoying voice from the depths of hell. Okay, yeah, you did. All right, here we go. This is the part where I was like, oh. Is that foodie talking? Is that what happened? So she said, oh, you knew the deal and it didn't meet your standards. And I was like, I, I smacked y'all in the arm. I was like, oh my God. They were setting up like a booty call, you know, she was supposed to fly from California to Canada to get her butter whipped by Nodder, the stallion. And when he saw that video of her in the airport and it was, you know, obvious she was this old lady and a Nodder, he ghosted her. This is the part where I was like, okay, so right now I'm, I'm presuming, what, what is she saying here right now? Where did she get this information from? I don't even know what the fuck she's even talking about, but here's the second part. Hold on. Oh, they're all playing right now. Shit. I wish I knew who these people were. <laughs> I wish I cared. Oh, no. Thousand dollars and what, like a six, seven hour flight? I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know. Anyway, touches down in Ottawa. She said she came there for cooking. No. See, now May is also a liar. Mm -hmm. E.g., if that's what May is saying the whole thing was about, was to come there for his cooking. She's a fucking liar. I 
And it, it doesn't matter if that was her intention at first and then her attention. Uh, who I don't even know, nor do I care, okay? Because at any point, whatever you were planning and not planning, the word no is said, that's all that matters. Everything before that shit doesn't matter. You can say, I promise to fuck you. And then you go there and change your mind. None of that matters, okay, bitch? But why would you even know about that? Because the video I'm going to play after all these clips, you, you clearly are okay with pedophiles. Not only based on your own tweet, defending one knowing he was a pedophile but of course we're gonna have to play the uh pirate the pirate one you guys might you might know him is she talking about like removal of consent what who i'm talking about because at any point you can remove consent it doesn't matter if you flew there directly to get some d and that was the plan if as soon as you get there you're not feeling it you can remove consent at any point I can tell from the messages I've seen just over there on Dee Dee's channel. I think it is $1,000. All right, let's see what this idiot thinks. So, wait, is this a like a reaction channel to another reaction channel? That's too much. <laughs> Here's the last one. Like, why are you even doing this? It's so weird for, for I don't know. Okay. Like, I don't get why she was talking to Dee Dee. Does anybody know? Like, what was her motivation here? I don't know. Maybe content, I guess. Because, like, does she like? I don't. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, Dee Dee, you, you remember this, but, like, was it proven? How was it proven? Do you recall? Okay. So, if you look just at these messages in the, in the video that um, Dee Dee put out, it seems very simple an explanation that May is a nutter. She's also old. Okay. You know what's fucking wild? To know what kind of piece of shit that Natter is, right? And then to go to the partner of Natter to get the truth. <laughs> Does that make any goddamn sense at all? No, it doesn't. And like 60 something years in her 60s, right? I feel like us listening to this is so pointless, but some of you guys might know what they're talking about, so we'll just sit through it, but I don't have too many thoughts, obviously. Foodie is probably thinking this has really proven her point in some way, and I don't even know what point it's trying to make, so I don't know if she's being successful. Uh, she looks like a nutter. Like, there's a short video... Like, just a two-second video, I guess, from the airport, selfie style that May took and sent to Nader. You can tell just from the, that little, short little video clip of her in the airport that she's old AF and she's a Nader. Oh, this is from the beginning. What the hell? Okay, so people that look like they're old as fuck and a Nader cannot possibly be assaulted, okay? Because what the fuck does that... <laughs> I, I can't. Oh, I don't think that's what she was saying. I cannot with this bitch. All right. So. So yeah, I defended about the time he was my boyfriend. Okay, that's not an excuse. Are you freaking kidding me? If I was dating someone and then someone came out and said, "Oh, he did all this to me," uh, foodie. That's your own lack of respect for yourself, dude. And because you don't really care about other women. And I didn't know fully what happened. And what he said happened, he lied to me. Based on the messages I, I saw, I didn't understand the timeline of how things happened. And I didn't think that there would have been time. Because Side eye. Because of how often I was there. And I thought she was just trying to make drama. I didn't think that he was predatory, that he was a bad person at the time. Because Sam's Bar Lounge wasn't out, and he hadn't laid a hand on me yet. So how am I supposed to know? So for you to bl You still fully did, like, you talked, I can vaguely remember this. She talked so much smack, though, about this person allegedly before she ever even knew if it was true so like girl it doesn't matter you were you like to say that you give victims the benefit of the doubt but you didn't then 
blame that on me when I had no idea what was going on is just deflection on your part for having girl shut up being slept and had children with a actual PDF file. There do you think she knew that? Like, y do you think she knew that? Come on. Not the same, but nice, nice attempt at deflecting and blaming me. You do if, again for something that happened three years, four, well, like four years ago now. <laughs> really? Uh, I don't know if it was that long ago. Uh, poor, poor, poor Yaba and Scamantha. She's weird. You people can hate me all you want, but if you're willing to defend somebody who defended a PDF file and named their dog after him, wrote, wrote him, had a hand, I'm sure, in a glowing obituary for this man, defended him because he's a war veteran. Are you sitting there thinking of how shitty you fucking sound doing this, dude? Probably and so much not. else. You're just disgusting people. You're right there with them then, girl. Comparing a consensual situation to a non-consensual situation. Where he still said he wanted to R.A. Mm -mm, women, okay. To contrive a self-defense out of yourself is really, really unsettling and disgusting. And whatever. Doesn't your husband have allegations against him? Keep doing your stupid, pathetic attempts at getting people to hate me, at drama, at trying to make me look bad. Well, girl, this is the longest video you've uploaded in about three months, so I would say it's freaking working. Because, I'm sorry, but in my eyes, you guys are worse. And... Okay. You didn't really prove a whole hell of a lot. You didn't show any proof. I'm just going to keep doing myself, my health journey, worrying about myself. Okay, she uploaded more, like I said. Getting on the treadmill, eating uh, more structured, trying to make changes in my life. Yeah, it seems so. Uh... Meanwhile, you deflect with this when asked to, sh to show that you can do better on the treadmill. You were asked to, sh to I, I challenged you, and your challenge for me is to learn Arabic? How about you learn about Islam? Since you like to judge me so heavily on being a proper Muslim, you're not a proper human being. To be fair, we only go off of what you say, and you always turn around and show your ass that you don't practice what you preach, girl, so... Where do you have the right to judge me on my morality about being a Muslim when you don't even know anything about Islam? You don't know anything. I don't know if you know anything. You're an ignorant lowlife who gets a kick out of making fat jokes. And they're not even good fat jokes. It's this. Yours aren't either, so. Same thing all the time. They be this in your Cartman voice. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people find that funny. I don't know how people find your channel entertaining, girl. All right? Like, <laughs> it's just you stuff in your face all the damn time. Oh, wonderful. Anyway. Is she switching to this rage content because that's all she can do now? She can't stuff her face anymore, right? She's going to get videos taken down. Well, no, she still could get some videos taken down. She took down a lot of the really bad ones. Anyway, bringing up old... Natsur drama when I was the victim of abuse with him and manipulation and lies. Mm, you were pretty adamantly defending him, all right? It wasn't just a simple, oh, I, you know, he was manipulating and lying to me. You were very vocal in defending him. And shaming those other victims because they were direct competition for you. And at the time, why didn't I have... I had no reason to not believe him. I didn't know who he was fully. Okay. So you... What? Why would that give you any reason then to not believe the victim then? If you didn't fully know him. So you'll give him the benefit of the doubt because you don't fully know him. But you won't give the vic victim the benefit of the doubt. Gotcha, girl. Gotcha. And all other evidence and all other things just made sense to me that, you know, 
that this was not what she was claiming. Things have changed since then. So what you're bringing up is just stupid and irrelevant, really. We have definitive proof, definitive proof that Jesse did do these things. I accidentally pushed the wrong button. She says that there's a definitive record of these things happening. I have no idea of this. Criminal record. I really don't know what the deflection's about. Can't compare. Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. Just coming on here to point out those things for the people who are, you know, in the back a little delayed. Rude. And that's all I have to say. See you in the future. Jesus, you guys. That was brutal, and that really wasn't a good look either for anyone in the situation, I would say, but especially Foodie. I don't know why you think it's a gotcha to allude to a man assaulting someone's children. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Anyways, y'all, this video put me in a grumpy mood. Thank you so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate y'all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.